today I am going to build a pressure pumped shower head. I'm not sure what to call it. I'm making a shower device out of a weed sprayer. So the idea is to get water in here and then pump it up full of pressure and then take a garden nozzle and put that on the end inside of, instead of this so that I can have a pressurized off-grid shower. I've seen tips and tricks on the internet and I have no idea how it's gonna work, but we're about to find out. Originally I bought this piece here to stick into the nozzle, or not into the nozzle, into this side into the nozzle and this side into the hose, but it turns out it was way too big. That's what you get for not measuring. So we went down to our local Wilco. We picked up one of these guys. It's gonna fit. But unfortunately, they didn't have a quarter inch. Was that a flange? I don't know. That would fit with the hose. So we had to get a connector piece. So these two will go together. And so that will go into the hose and that will go into the nozzle. We'll see how it, how it holds up. <laughs> we are using the best hose nozzle. I guess the next step is going to be oh, to take the hose off the bottle because this is ridiculous. Let's see, does this come off? Yes. Guess there was water in there. Okay, and then this. Get that all the way out of there. Nobody said he had a hose clamp. Maybe I don't. Aha! Like an idiot. Okay, folks. So, uh, if you don't know better, put the hose clamp on before you put the, oh gosh. Oh, screwdriver. Can you tell I'm not very handy? <laughs> you know what, before we do the hose clamp, let's just see if it even needs one. Okay, now we've got the regular hose nozzle attached to the weed sprayer. Put that back in. So in theory, this should work. Let's try putting some water in it. This one's my outdoor garden hose nozzle because I accidentally bought two. That should be enough for a test. And then we're gonna Pump it up. I want a really pressurized shower. Okay. Pop that in. Final test. Hey! So it's not a crazy amount of pressure, but that's something. That's enough for a decent shower. Oh my gosh, it worked! <laughs> there we go, folks. A off-grid, primitive, but functional shower system. Apparently it also works as a good uh, foot cleaner when you step into squirrels' shells. <laughs> so let's see, the cost of this all together was uh got that i got both of these parts on amazon so the tank was twenty dollars twenty one dollars um that is a clean two gallon bug sprayer thingy bug sprayer weed killer whatever it is the hose nozzle was 
11 dollars 11 or 12 dollars on amazon and then these two parts were like two bucks a piece at wilco 35 dollar ish product i'd say that's worth it for an off-grid shower you could probably find these parts a lot cheaper you'd probably find a cheaper garden nozzle just disclaimer here i would not recommend using a used uh weed sprayer bad idea potential chemicals lurking around don't want that in your skin in your hair on your body gross spring and get a new one please i've seen them in metal i've seen them in plastic you, there's lots of options get a new weed sprayer i don't care if you reuse your garden hose just get a new weed sprayer this also would be great for camping going to the beach you know how that goes with sandy feet and all that great for kids so yeah, hope you enjoyed, hope you found something useful, and we'll see you next time. Bye.